The Violence Against Women Act, or VAWA, was enacted by Congress to address the problem that some abused non-citizens stay in abusive relationships because their abuser holds the key to their immigration status in the United States. VAWA was essentially created to overcome the use of lack of status as a tool of abuse. In the next few minutes, we'll cover some key things to know about VAWA, including eligibility and the benefits offered to those who qualify. Let's get started. Under the VAWA self-petition process, survivors of domestic violence can move forward in their process without needing the family member with status to help submit the application on their behalf. Although the name suggests the law only applies to women, the self-petitioning process is available to anyone, regardless of their sex, gender identity, or sexual orientation. The VAWA self-petitioning process is similar to the family-based process. For VAWA self-petitions, an abused spouse or child of a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident, or an abused parent of an adult U.S. citizen's son or daughter, can self-petition independent of the abuser. A person who is granted VAWA will get protection from deportation, will be qualified to work legally in the United States, and can receive much of the same government aid that lawful permanent residents are eligible for. Ultimately, those granted VAWA are eligible to continue the process and apply for lawful permanent residence, often known as getting a green card. VAWA can be an option for abused spouses, abused children, and abused parents. To be eligible, the individual needs to demonstrate that the abuser was a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident. They will also need to demonstrate that they were abused by their family member, that they lived with them at some point, and that the petitioner is considered a person of good moral character. Those who think they are eligible to submit a VAWA self-petition should remember a few things. One, a person may still be eligible to submit a VAWA self-petition even if they are now divorced or the abuser has lost their status. Two, self-petitioners who are applying based on the abuse they suffered from their spouse will need to show that their marriage was legal, where they got married, and that they got married for more than just obtaining an immigration benefit. Three, VAWA self-petitions require some important documentation to show eligibility. Among other things, this will include identity documents and proof of the abuser's status, like their green card, naturalization certificate, or U.S. birth certificate. The VAWA process from self-petition to green card can take a few months or a few years, depending on whether you're applying as an abused family member of a lawful permanent resident or U.S. citizen which will determine when you can move on to submit your application for lawful permanent status. If you think you're eligible to submit a VAWA self-petition, speak to an immigration attorney or a DOJ accredited representative. Because there are always risks associated with any immigration process, it's important to minimize those risks by speaking with these experts and disclosing all aspects of your immigration history before they move forward with your case. Get screened for eligibility by visiting the link below to find free or low-cost trusted legal help in your area. Thanks for watching.